Last week, when I was photographing some time lapses for the tilt shift lens video linked in the corner, I ended up shooting around about 10 sequences. Halfway through this, as the sun was moving through the sky, it started to shine on my camera and heat it up. As the camera got hotter, I noticed the buffer starting to fill up and the camera didn't want to offload the images to the SD card as quickly as normal. It actually stopped on one of my time-lapse sequences halfway through. Now, after taking the camera out of the sun, opening up the SD card and battery door and giving it a few minutes, it did start to cool down and work properly again. I tried it again at home with the camera in the sun and the buffer did start to fill up again. So it does seem as though SD cards do reduce their efficiency for the camera to offload the buffer onto the SD card when they do get hot. The card I was using had a write speed of 60 megabytes per second. And as the images have a size of 41.9 megabytes per second, and I was in the interval function at one frame a second, there should have been enough kind of bandwidth to cope with all of this information. Now I know these Transcend cards are coming to the end of their lives due to the write speeds getting closer and closer to the limits of the new higher megapixel cameras and interval settings. So I am gonna have to look for some more SD cards and I will get some with much faster write speeds that you can get nowadays. So I'm guessing as these cards have a write speed really close to the interval data creation speed, so that's the creation speed that the camera creates information to be offloaded to the card, I'm guessing as these SD cards get hotter, there is a bit of resistance building up with this heat in the components of the SD card, and this decreases the maximum write speed to below 41.9 megabytes per second. At one point, it did stop offloading the buffer altogether. This is when I moved the camera out of the sun, I opened the battery door and I opened the SD card door. Obviously I didn't remove the SD card because it was still trying to write to it. As the camera cooled down, it started offloading again. Now the faster the write speed is, I think the less likely this is to happen. So if you do have a camera like the a7 III and you do want to create time lapses in quite a warm environment, I'd suggest getting SD cards with a minimum write speed of around about 100 to 150 megabytes per second. Because if the cards you own have a write speed close to the data creation rate, which is the amount of megabytes being produced by your camera per second, as your camera heats up, you might notice that it takes longer to unload the buffer. Now, if you're shooting sports, you might notice that you're waiting around for longer, or if you're shooting a time-lapse, you might notice that it stops or that you can see the buffer starting to fill up. Now, I've done a video on SD card classifications, which is linked in the corner or in the description below. So if you're not sure what all the different logos are on your SD card, go and watch that. But this is something to be aware of. If you're shooting in a hot environment or if your camera is going to be in the sun whilst doing a time lapse. Now, have you had any problems with your SD card not working as efficiently as normal? If you have, let me know in the comments below. It'll be great to hear your experiences with SD cards. And be sure to put what card you have and its write speed. Most of them have this written on it these days. And if not, I'm sure you could find it out on Google. Now, if you want to know more about SD card classifications, click on this next video here. And for a video tailored especially for you, click on this one down here. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for weekly tutorials in photography. I'll see you next time.